Real quickly, I'm going to show you how to use our new Ash Design alphabet masks to create custom pieces. And I'm going to show you in Photoshop Elements. I have PSE 10 open right now. And you can see down here at the bottom, I have three files. I have the number three. This is this is from the alphabet mask. I have just a plain background open here. And then I have a picture of my son who is three today. So I just thought I'd show you really quickly how to use these. Now the very first thing we need to do is I opened this three. It's a three PSD. That's the exact file I got from Ash Design. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to turn off the background layer. And you can see how that makes it transparent behind it. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go to my background layer, which is the layer I'm going to build off of. I'm going to drag my three to my background layer. Once that loads, I can position it however I want on my page here, and I might need to shrink it up just a little bit. So I'm going to do Control or Command T. Uh, I'm going to make sure that Constraint Proportions is set. And I'm just going to make my three a little bit smaller here so we can fit it on this page. And I'm going to either hit Enter or hit my little green uh, checkbox there. From there, I just need to put my image in. So I'm going to drag my image up to the same file. When that loads, you can see it places it right over the top. I'm just going to clip this in. I use the Option key and get my little circles here. Or you can go to Layer, I think it's Layer, Create Clipping Mask, Apple G. I'm on a Mac. <laughs> and then, again, you can adjust your image. I'm going to need to transform the size a little bit. So Control T and make sure my constrained properties. And I'll just drag this to fill and then move it around so his little face fits in there. And then again, I can hit enter or hit this little green check box. And from there, I'm done. I'll just save out as a JPEG and be ready to print. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day.